All right, this is the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. I bought it um, in the hopes of being able to power my sump pump. I did a ton of research on the internet and on YouTube. I think I found two YouTubers who were able to make it work with their sump pump, um, but I didn't see anyone with a half horsepower sump pump. So we are going to see if this works both in regular mode and in the X-Boost mode which provides up to 1600 watts of boosted power, albeit at a lower voltage. This device has 768 watt hours or 800 watts of, of output. I'm currently at 99%, I have 78 hours of battery life left. I am going to basically open the water valve on my water heater, let some water into my sump pump, into the crack, the sump pump is a Home Depot rigid one half horsepower sump pump. It is rated at 1,050 watts while in use and up to 2,100 watts for the surge. So I am going to see if the EcoFlow River 2 Pro can handle the power from the sump pump. I've got water going into the pump. X boost mode is on. We'll see what happens. Some pump is going right now. 542 maximum watts just output. I'm going to turn this valve off. That is draining. I still have 83 hours left. I'm going to do the same exercise again and see if this works without X boost on. Water's filling up in the crack. 92 hours of battery power left. Crack is almost full. Crack just ran again, maximum output 538 watts. So there you have it. I spent so much time on YouTube trying to find out if this singular unit would work with my half horsepower rigid sump pump. It indeed does. Now I have a solution where if the power goes out, and this, this is what I haven't tested yet, is how many cycles can I get out of this? If it runs every five minutes, that's 12 times per hour. Um, I would love to get a day uh, out of it. Um, I also have the option to recharge it in my car or get a solar panel. Uh, the maximum input wattage from a solar panel is 220. So um, I still have 80 hours, 98% battery left. There you go. Short and sweet. Thank you.